Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and this is an update video about the Panda Nomi. So just some really quick background in case you are not familiar. Uh, the Panda Nomi is an accessory for the Bamboo Lab A1, and it is a little screen and a case that you can snap onto the tool head, and you can program different animated GIFs that correspond to different features of the printer. For example, you can assign a GIF for when the printer is heating up the hot end or when it's heating up the bed or when it's calibrating flow and it just helps you to add some flair and some customization to the printer because you can have your favorite memes on screen now in that video at the end i said that i could not recommend that product because there was a pretty big issue with the software where it could not recognize my wi-fi password it kept telling me that the wi-fi password was wrong even though it wasn't and i had to fix it by constantly resetting it to the factory settings but the problem persisted whenever it was turned off and then bq reached out to me and told me that they were working on a firmware update for the panda nomi and that the versions that they sell to regular customers is not going to be the exact same one that i received so everything should be sorted out by then so i got the new firmware i installed it and now i'm going to tell you what that experience is like but right before then i also want to share some information about this product just in case you were wondering about the compatibility with it when it comes to bamboo lab printers should they decide to go ahead with the new security based update that had everyone up in an uproar so here's an official statement from bq regarding that so in terms of whether or not this device is going to be affected by that firmware update. They say that the answer is a resounding no. Based on Bamboo's latest announcement, only communications that require control of the printer will be affected. Since Pandanomi only reads information from the printer, there will be no impact on its functionality whatsoever. Additionally, we have designed mounts that make the Pandanomi compatible with the Bamboo P1 x1 and a1 series so that users can really add flair to their machine regardless of the model and now let's talk about the price and the availability now they are going to release the panda nomi on february 28th 2025 and the price for it is going to be 49.99 broken down by the screen costing 35 dollars and 99 cents and the case is going to be $19.99. All right, so with all that being said, let me show you what the experience is like with the new and improved firmware. So here's the Pandanomi in action with the new firmware. So this is the standby GIF and it's from the Simpsons when Homer and Bart is on the couch and he's like, room for one more. So. Uh, that's what it's going to look like as it's just waiting for a print to start. And I started up a print and here you can just see some of the various uh, preloaded GIFs that are loaded up on here as well as some that I put on here myself such as uh, sizzling bacon whenever the bed is heating and it's just going to go through all of these that corresponds to the particular action that the printer is doing at that time and it, it's fun to look at because it's definitely different especially when it starts doing the calibrating and all the shaking and then the default gif is the uh, eyes of the pandanomi going kind of crazy so i thought that that was a nice touch so now I'm going to show you how you can actually put GIFs onto the Panda Nomi. So basically you go to whatever GIF website that you want. In this case, I'm using Giphy and you choose whatever GIF that you want and you copy a link that goes directly to the GIF. So for example, for this one, this is just the nozzle moving left to right, just like this. So I would simply hit copy link here. And then I'm going to take this over to another website. This website is called easygift.com and the reason why I'm bringing it over here is because the GIF needs to be 240 by 240 in order for it to fit the screen and also it also needs to be a very specific size or it can exceed a certain size in order for it to be stored on the Nomi. So I'm just going to go to resize here at the top and I'm going to put in the link that I just copied and then upload. And you see, this is pretty darn big. So down here, 
I'm just going to go 240 by 240 and make sure that I have the smallest file size and then I'm going to resize the image and now here it is right here. So I'm just going to save this to my hard drive. And now I'm going to go to the web UI for the Panda Nomi, which you can reach simply by typing in the unique IP address for the Panda Nomi. You'll see what it's going to be when you uh, when you set yours up. So you can access this from any web browser that's connected to the same network that the Panda Nomi is connected to. So if I wanted to have that printing or have that GIF showing when it's actually printing, I can just go down to this right here. It says printing GIF. I'll hit update, select the GIF that I just downloaded and resized. And it says here, the GIF has been successfully updated and automatically reloaded. Please check the new GIF animation on the Panda Nomi. And this is what it looks like. Now, just in case there's a time where the GIF is a bit too big or now there may come a time when the GIF is a bit too big. And if that's the case, what I would do is just go back to this easy GIF website and just click optimize and then just play around with the compression level. And then the higher that you compress it, you know, a little bit worse, the GIF is going to look, but it'll make the overall file size smaller so that you'll be able to upload it to the Panda Nomi and still see it on the screen. So right now, everything is working the way that it is intended to work. Once I turn on the printer, I do have to wait for the A1 to connect to the Internet before the Nomi will begin to show the GIFs that are already pre-installed, because I guess it's just waiting for the A1 to uh, get its connection first. But throughout an actual print job, it does what it's supposed to do. So at this point, you just have to ask yourself whether you would like to spend the $50 or so so that you can get get your hands on this to put on your printer's tool head, whether it's the A1 or the P1 or X1 printers, to add a little bit more customizable flair to it. So that's all for now. That is the promised update for the Panda Nomi. I'll leave a link in the description to the page where you can pick it up. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you soon.